Breaking news from Chicago, the Chicago Bears have just cut tight end Trey Burton. What is up guys, I'm back with the Bears offseason news videos. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Bears content, more Bears coverage, more Bears analysis, highlights, and so on. And guys, I really did not expect this whatsoever. If you want to see my live reaction to this, um, check out the video I posted right before this because I found out about this, I read the notification during the filming of the last video, so that's my live reaction right there. And uh, I have to say, I was kind of happy because, guys, I mean, this man, Trey Burton, he has been a colossal bust for us. It's been a really horrible signing by Ryan Pace, not entirely um, because of the fault of Trey Burton, um, partly also because we really do not know how to use our tight ends at all. Uh, we're bad at developing tight ends as well. But the fact remains that this guy just could not stay healthy whatsoever, which is a shame because he began his career with the Bears pretty strong. Uh, the first eight games of 2018, he was actually looking like a pretty decent signing because he had a lot of games where he had like over 50, um, 80, even 100 yards. He was, you know, putting up a lot of touchdowns as well. He looked like he was actually fitting well in this offense. But the second half of 2018, he just did not show up at all. And then the playoff game against the Eagles, he was a phantom scratch, okay, which was, he said that it was due to an, a groin injury he had, which I kind of believe at this point because that groin injury it impacted him in 2019 as well. He had surgery um, over the last offseason, which I guess did not really help him out that much because um, he went back on the IR uh, in 2019. He missed the majority of the 2019 season. And guys, at this point, I think the Bears just believe that Trey Burton is not going to be healthy for us. We can't rely on him. And it just makes more sense to cut him, even though financially we're not going to be saving much money at all. This move... Uh, only saves us three million, about three million dollars in cap space. So we're not like, it's not going to open a lot of space for us to sign, you know, anybody else. But it was a move that had to be made because if we cannot rely on you to be there for us, to be healthy for us, to actually play games, you know, to be there in the moments that we need you the most, what good does it do us having you on the roster? You know, I thought that when we signed Jimmy Graham, I thought that Trey Burton could potentially maybe be a pretty good backup and maybe you know, resurge into his 2018 form. But it just seems like the Chicago Bears do not think that is possible at this point in time. So I wish Trey Burton the best of luck, man. I mean, his injuries, it really sucks what happened to him because he did show a lot of potential, but he just was not there for us. And that's why we cut him. And that's why we're most likely going to now draft a tight end early in the 2020 draft. This really changes my mock draft heavily because now tight end moves up there to being as big of a need as offensive line for us. Because guys, beyond Jimmy Graham, we really do not have much of anybody else. And if you look at Jimmy Graham even, he's not really produced in the past couple years. So our tight ends are really weak right now. But if Ryan Pace targets his position early in the draft, in the second round preferably, I think we could turn this tight end group around. You know, whether it be Cole Komet or Troutman or, you know, Bryson Hopkins. There's a lot of potential options we could go after. It's not a particularly strong draft for tight ends, which kind of sucks. But there are some pretty good options that we could go after. And I'll have to do more research now on the tight ends because I did not envision us drafting a tight end that early, given that we had a lot of investments in, uh, you know, Trey Burton and Jimmy Graham as well. But now that Burton is gone, we have a glaring hole on this roster um, at our backup tight end position. And we do need a tight end still for the future. Jimmy Graham is probably only going to be a two-year option. So we need somebody, you know, for the long term. And that, hopefully, guys, I, I hope that's Cole Komet. Because looking at his highlights from Notre Dame, it looks like this guy is going to be a stud in the NFL. A lot of people are saying a lot of good things about him. You know, some people are saying that he could be the next Gronkowski. Which, that's probably going a little bit too far. Because I remember that Adam Shaheen was called the next Gronkowski as well. But that did not turn out to be the case unfortunately and I also have to bring up that man Ryan Pace has a horrible horrible track record when it comes to getting tight ends uh, drafting tight ends and signing tight ends so I'm not like I don't have a lot of faith particularly in Ryan Pace to get this right but even a guy that's wrong 10 times he's gonna be right at least one or how, I don't know what the saying is but He's been wrong so much. He has to be right at least one time. And hopefully that is this time because we desperately need production from our tight ends. Overall, guys, I have to say I love this move because it shows that Ryan Pace is serious about improving this roster, improving this offense, 
If he just sat there and did nothing, we might have had the same story for next year. Trey Burton might have been on the IR. We would have wasted another season of him. And we would have had virtually no production from our tight ends yet again. So maybe it would be better to draft a tight end, develop him, and preserve him for the long term because we really do not have any long term options right now. But let me know what you guys think about this move in the comments down below. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to love it because Trey Burton was not really well liked in the Bears community over the past like year and a half and please be classy with it guys okay we we want to wish our former bears good luck in the future okay this guy did put in the work for us it just did not turn out the way that we had hoped his injuries got the best of him um his body maybe was not suited best for the nfl so it was a bad signing by ryan pace but we have cut ties and we're gonna start over and try again hopefully with the drafted tight end in the 2020 draft that is all guys and bear down <laughs>